looks like they're going to have a full squad available with the exception of Jonas Olsen, who's still a couple of weeks away from returning from his Achilles operation. Um, in terms of new signings, not quite as well as Tony Pulis would have, would have wanted. He's desperate to get new faces into the club. And as we get closer to the game, it's looking increasingly unlikely that will happen in time for the Everton game. Mm. Obviously very important to build on that massive 1-0 win against Hull City last weekend. Absolutely. It wasn't a pretty win, but it, but it was a massive win. I mean, in terms of the game itself, there wasn't a great deal of difference between that and the games that had gone before. But there was one big difference, which, which was that they, they went on and won it which Pulis will obviously hope will kickstart something for him. And obviously Everton haven't been in the best of form and they might be a little bit tired from obviously playing in midweek. No, I think Everton, Everton struggles are one of, one of the big surprises of the, of the Premier League season really. I think we're all used to seeing Everton in the, in the top seven or eight as, as a minimum. And they have struggled this season, probably not defending as, as, well, as, as well as they would like. So Albion will be encouraged by that.